Yeah. We got a fresh Limitless, guys. Oh, we're gonna try and build a V2, or at least something that's close enough to a V2. Maybe we'll have a V1.999. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're doing well. All right, guys, so one of my buddies um, actually donated uh, Limitless V1. Um, it's in pristine condition. So I figured, you know what, let's take this and let's try and build a Limitless V2 out of it or something close enough to the V2. We're not gonna get some of the features from the V2, but we're gonna get something that's close enough to it and some of the major parts that will cause this car to be a little bit faster than a V1. Let's crack into all the parts. Let me show you what I got planned. All right, guys. Um, so yeah, these are just some of the stickers that my buddy gave me. I'm gonna stick them somewhere on the car. I don't really like stickers, but man, I really appreciate the fact that he donated a car. He mainly does um, drone stuff, so you can check out his channel. You know, I'll put the link in the description. I'll put his channel here. Um, he has some really cool flights. Um, loves drones just as much as I do. We're gonna be using or reusing as much as we can from the old MLS build. So I'm just gonna reuse the entire front piece here because the one that's new, it looks new. So this is still good from the old MLS. I'm gonna be using this kind of stuff here. Um, and some of the carbon fiber bits that actually weren't damaged in all of my crashing. <laughs> of course, we're gonna be reusing our titanium parts, our Pinocchio spool here. Ram Jam guys, check them out. They have the parts that you need. They're awesome. Same thing with all the titanium shafts. So that's the plan for that. I'm putting it aside. PPS motor mount, of course. Uh, that's one of the things that we're gonna be missing out on um, from the Limitless V2. I really, really, really liked the fact that on the Limitless V2 that you could put the motor up by the front here. But of course, we're not gonna have the space um, to put our 1721 up by the front it's just not gonna hold so we're gonna have to put it back over here and uh, make, that, make that all work all right so what's gonna make the car go faster than a limitless v1 is going to be the diffs the diff gearing so basically um, unlike the limitless v1 that runs 4313 gearing sorry so um, the input is 13 teeth and the big gear here is 43 um, it's a different gear ratio so um, with this gear ratio which is also from the infraction and this is the from the rear I got this one from the rear of my felony um, and I had to buy just the ring gear to go on the cup because all of the cups are the same for each of the cars it's just the gearing that's different so all I need to do is buy the GP5 input shaft and the main gear here here goes the parts that's the 42 tooth gp5 and on the felony the felony uses gp5 and gp6 and here goes the other input input gear all right i followed along with james james mccoy's uh build video that he did he did a great job in going over all the stuff that he does to get his cars prepped um to go <laughs> the ridiculous speeds that he goes so if you follow along with his video, you can definitely hit some really good speeds. I, my goal is definitely not to hit 180, 190, 200. I don't have the roads for that. So my goal right now, 150, we can definitely get it with the Limitless and this gearing. I think will be just fine. The car will be held on on the roads that I got. What I did is just use the oils that I have. I put 250K in weight in the front one which is going to be this one super 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 stiff so i use 250 and 100k in the rear because i want a little bit a little bit of um movement from the diff for the rear the shocks so shocks i already have these all of these are from the limitless v1 that i had um, the only thing I did was service them. The oils in them were running low. And also I, again, followed along with James McCoy's build video. I'm gonna put a link to his video in the description below as well. Use a nylon washer, open up the, the shock, take off the nut that's on the shock shaft, and you put this in the bottom, shock body, and you refill it, will help you not to have to adjust the droop screw. And he goes into detail about that. So again, check out his video if you wanna know more. But I did that. For the two front shocks, they are super tight. Um, 
They feel really good. On my rears, uh, I don't have nitro tubing and I didn't wanna just buy nitro tubing. Again, this is my budget build that I didn't wanna spend money and buy any parts and stuff like that that I didn't already have. So I basically fished this all together from the old Limitless that I had and the old Felony and some other little parts that I had lying around. So I just used some, some of the silicone glue that you have, you know, from arts and crafts stuff, the hot gun glue thing. So I just drilled a hole into it, right? Cut it to the length that I want, drilled a hole into it, put it over the shock shaft, right? And I put a zip tie, I actually squeeze a zip tie in there if you can see. And it's been, it's, this is what I've been running on the Limitless V1. And it's been limiting, it's been limiting the, the shock, the shock plate and it still has rebound. It still does have a little bit of rebound in the back when you apply the spring. So it's, it's been working. Um, again, I don't want to buy nitro tubing just to, to put that on, on my shock shaft. I don't have nitro cars. So, um, just buying a nitro tube just to put it on i was like all right i'm not gonna do that I, i'll find something and i did just that so the only thing i have left to get um i ordered the the rear hubs the extended rear hubs um for the wider rear track um that the limitless v2 has as well so that's the only thing i have left to get and then the whole build will be done last but not least big juice the 1721 motor so i'm gonna be using 28 tooth on the pinion and 40 tooth on the spur and we're gonna stick with that i don't think i need anything more according to my calculations that should be good for like 160 170 miles per hour as long as i can keep the sag together this is not a build video at all i did do a full build video a full build series of the original limitless if you want to check out a build so i'm just gonna build it out um do a little bit of touches here and there and then after that at the end we're gonna just run the car, um, do our first test, couple of test runs on the car, nothing crazy. Anyway, hope you guys stick around and I see you when I finish the car. Phew, guys, that took way, way longer than I wanted to, but all right, here we are. So all buttoned up, everything looking pretty good. I just need to, you know, wire stuff up. Wow, um, I don't know if it's just the, the, the stock, um, limitless um, like when it's fresh out the box I don't know whatever but yeah it was giving me the hardest time it was actually rubbing the discs were actually rubbing inside of the casings so I ended up having to reuse the felony cases for some apparent reason it worked I figured all of the casings should be the same the infraction the limitless and the felony but I guess not anyway got everything buttoned up got all my carbon fiber my little carbon fiber goodies on here um, just slight touches here and there from the from the other car so now um, just need to finish it up and uh, then we can do our first run oh it came out pretty good guys I messed it up here and there but when this thing is flying by you're not really even gonna see all of that but dang yeah got it got it oh yes all right so I put my buddy sticker on this on this side here and Put my sticker on this side here but the car is looking good guys everything is all set up all we need now is just the rear hubs and i did order a new set of foams and then we're gonna send it so unfortunately i'm not gonna send it in this video this video is already long enough so i'm just gonna test it on the wounds it's not gonna be anything crazy um because i haven't gotten the foams yet but i'm gonna test it out and see how everything tracks make sure it's all straight and guys this is it this is it 150 guys we're gonna get it i told you we have to get it let me show you what's going on inside so my buddy also gave me these nice 3d printed parts so i don't need to tape down the body but everything is good guys everything is good these crazy antenna wires i still haven't figured out what i'm gonna do if i'm gonna cut the body and just stick them straight up but i'll figure that out everything is good light on the back fresh fresh build guys this thing is ready to go all right really like the way how the body came out the body looks really really good um still scuffed up here and there but that's cool all right guys i'll catch you again on the next one and yeah we're hunting for that speed guys and this thing is gonna do it remember to like subscribe and share and i'll catch you again on the next one folks peace out